today we'll be doing operation of matrices where we're going to add, multiply, subtract, and find the transpose of a matrix. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Now let us talk about the order of a matrix. This matrix has two rows and one column, so it's a two by one matrix and that's the order. Let's look at another matrix. Now we have this having three one two in one column, two one five in another column. So we have two columns and three rows. So it means we have three rows, so it's three by two columns, so it's three by two. So the order for this matrix is 3 by 2. Now, looking at this matrix, we have 2 rows and 3 columns. 1, 2, that's 2 rows. And 1, 2, 3, that's 3 columns. So the order is 2 by 3. Let us now look at the transpose of a matrix. So let's look at this matrix where we're going to have 2, 3 for one column and 1, 5 for another column and 6, 2 for the third column. So we can now find the transpose of this where we change the row into column. So it'll be 2, 1, 6, the row becoming a column and then the second row becoming the first column which is 3, 5 and 2. So this is the transpose of this matrix. Now, we're going to start addition of two matrix. Here we have two two by two matrix. We're going to add the position. So we have one plus one, that's two. Three plus two, that's five. Two plus negative three, that's negative one. 4 plus 5, that's 9. Now, let's look at uh, two matrix where we have one of them having one column but three rows. So it's a 3 by 1 matrix. And the other matrix has one column but two rows. So it's a 2 by 1 matrix. We're unable to add it because we have to add matrices that have the same order. Here we have two 3x3 three three matrix, so we add the position 3 plus 4, that's 7, 4 plus 1, that gives us 5, 3 plus 8, that gives us 11, 2 plus negative 5, that gives us negative 3, 2 plus 3, that gives us 5, 1 plus 2, that gives us 3, 1 plus 2, that gives us 3, Negative 1 plus 4, that gives us 3. Minus 5 plus 1, that gives us negative 4. So once you're adding, you add the position. Subtraction of two matrix is the same concept where we subtract the positions. So if you look at this, 3 by 2 matrix, we are just going to subtract each position. So let's start. So having the positions, we have minus 2 minus 3, that's negative 5. Min 1 minus 2, that's negative 1. 3 minus 4, that's negative 1. Minus 5 minus 1, that's negative 6. 1 minus 5, that's negative 4. 6 minus and minus, that's plus. So plus 3, that is 9. So the same concept, just as what we were doing before when we were adding, we just look at the position. Now looking at this, we're going to subtract the positions. So here we go. 
we have one and three that's in the same position. So one minus three gives us negative two. Three minus four, that's negative one. Two minus six, that's negative four. Minus five minus seven, that gives you negative 12. Now we're going to look at when a matrix is defined or not defined when you multiply and if it's not defined, we're not able to go ahead and do multiplication of matrices. So here we have two matrix, matrix A being a 2 by 3, which is the order, and B which is 4 by 3, which is the next order. So if I lay it out where, if I need to find out what is a b three and four is not the same so we see it is not defined once it's not defined it means you cannot go ahead and multiply a b which is a times b now if i want to multiply a b here a one by three order for a and a three by four order for b it is defined because the rows and columns within are the same so it means I can go ahead and multiply so it means I can multiply this matrix so when I multiply my result should have an order of 1 by 4 once you're not getting that then it means you have done something incorrect so the order of this matrix which is the result what you're supposed to get when you multiply a b is a one by four matrix now the if we have b a meaning we have multiplying b which is the order three by four and a which is one by three we realize the row and columns are not the same again so in this case we see the matrix is not defined and this means we are unable to multiply BA. So what you're seeing is that it matters how you write a matrix that is not a square matrix. So you have to look out for that. Now once you have a square matrix, which is same rows and same columns, now the reality is I tell students you don't really have to check if it's compatible because it has the same amount of rows and same amount of columns. So here we have this defined, so the order is a 2 by 2. Now multiplying two matrix, here we have the same order, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. When we're multiplying, we multiply row by column. So the first matrix you divide into two rows, and the second matrix you divide into two columns. So it's row by column, so it's 2 times 2, that is 4 plus 3 by 4 that's 12 then the first row by the second column so we have 2 by 1 that's 2 plus 3 times 5 that's 15 then we multiply the second row by the first column negative 1 times 2 that's negative 2 plus 1 times 4 that's 4 negative 1 times 1 that's negative 1 1 times 5 that's plus 5 then we go ahead and add so we have 4 plus 12 that's 16 negative 2 plus 4 that's 2 2 plus 15 that's 17 negative 1 plus 5 that's 4 Multiplying these two matrix, we have 2 by 2 matrix, and which is 2 by 3 matrix. So to check if it can be multiplied, we look at the order. The first order is 2 by 2, and the second order is 2 by 3. The rows and columns within are the same, so it is defined, and the order that we should get when we multiply is a 2 by 3 matrix.
So multiplying this rule by column, we have 1 times 1, that gives us 1, plus 3 times 2, that gives us 6. Then multiply the first row by the second column. So 1 times 3, that gives us 3, plus 3 times 4, that gives us 12. 1 times 5, that gives me 5, plus 3 times 6, that gives us 18. So multiply the second rule by the first column. So we have 2 times 1, that gives me 2, plus 4 times 2, that gives me 8. Then the last row by the second column, 2 times 3, that's 6, plus 4 times 4, that's 16. Then the last row by the last column, 2 times 5, that gives me 10, plus 4 times 6, that's 24. So add in. 1 plus 6, 7, 3 plus 12, that's 15, 5 plus 18, that's 23, 2 plus 8, that's 10, 6 plus 16, that's 22, and 10 plus 24 is 34. And here we have our 2 by 3 matrix. Now, Say we have A, B, transpose. When you have this, I have to first multiply A, B together. Then I find the transpose of the result. So multiply the matrix row by column. So 1 times 2, that's 2, plus 3 times 3, that's 9, row by column. 1 times 5, that's 5, plus 3 times 1, that's 3. Then go to the second row, first column, 2 times 2, that's 4, plus 4 times 3, that's 12. Second row, last column, 2 fives, 10, plus 4 times 1, that's 4. So adding this, we have 9 plus 2, 11. 4 plus 12, 16. 5 plus 3, 8. 10 plus 4, 14. Now we go ahead and find the transpose of this because this is just AB. So transposing, remember, it turns row into columns or columns into row. What we will have the so eleven eight, which is a row becoming a column. So we have eleven eight first column and sixteen fourteen, which is a second column. That is A B transpose. No. Let me now find B transpose A transpose. So I'll find the transpose of B changing the rows into columns. So we have 2, 5 becoming the first column and 3, 1 becoming the second column. A transpose, you will have 1, 3 being the first column, and 2, 4 being the next column. Row by column. So first row by first column, 2 times 1, 2, plus 3 times 3, 9. Row by column, 2 times 2, 4, plus 3 times 4, 12. Second row, first column, 5 times 1, 5, plus 
1 times 3 is 3. Second row, second column, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 times 1 is 4. So you're going to see this is going to give you the same result, which is 9 plus 2 is 11, 5 plus 3 is 8, that's 16, and 10 plus 4, that's 14. And as you can see, we have the same thing. So A, B transpose is the same thing as B transpose, A transpose. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.